<laughs> well, if we can't cast it, maybe Ben can. Uh, Navi, this draft looks very odd. That simple. Slark with a little bit of a leash up on top. Keizu doesn't really have a lot of mana to work with. He's only got three stick charges. So that's not really enough to fight with. Yap Source trying to prepare himself for the mid lane. If Dendi dives this feeling the mid one is low, Yapsaw can get in behind and just get that cog burn. The Fidger helps them set up for it. So the battery assault and Dendi trapped him with mid one while being hit by the tier one tower. Dendi should fall here. Yapsaw will claim the first blood. Snaker, it's a little bit too late. They do have another totem stop if they can keep the stuns going, but Snaker takes the trees. There goes your Fidger. Cogs off cooldown in one second time, but they're underneath the tower, trapped inside the cogs. And Yapsaw will tank it and Snaker will fall. I don't know if I can play that globally myself. <laughs> I think that would actually be a little bit rude. Um, Dendi, Hello. Fissure, Echo, Frostbite, perfect control. And a very simple execution there for Team Secret. Level 5, Puppy, mid one's come in. He's got enough money for his Blink Dagger, but he hasn't purchased it yet. So the Clockwork Rocket, it reveals him. It sees absolutely everything. Mid one, the Fissure, it connects onto the Warlock. Yapsaw just keeps going. He can Battery Assault and hold the Warlock in the tree line. While Keizu continues to beat into the T1 tower, the Nova gives him the vision onto Pycat as he can come closer towards Seneco. And in fact, it looks like that's exactly what mid one's thinking too. I said when, when the Echo Slam came off cooldown, he'd look for a kill. He now has a haste rune. Fisher to start with, blink up, follow up totem, and open wounds will slow down Seneco more than enough to get the kill. And then you do not have to commit your big ultimate. And what a nice guy. But they're going to find bottom lane. Nice room for Denny to have before he's going to trigger Dragon Form. Actually, he triggered the Arcane Rune after Dragon Form. General cannot let the Epicenter go. Virus Strike 4, Bristleback taking most of the damage, and then in comes your Echo Slam with the Fissure. No, it was already thrown out. It was the initial stun. Keizu so low on life. Puppy creates a little bit of space, but they've lost the Life Stealer. They've lost the Bristleback. SK was the cost, but Puppy falling as well. Three heroes down for Team Secret. Not the fight they wanted to have. Life Stealer Pop raged so late that fight. He was stunned for a bit, but then he turned on the Sand King, still not using his rage, and took way too much damage despite having his arm lit on. Is Navi forcing this issue too far now? They don't have the Golem. Yapsaw, mid one, can blink, gets the official line. TP support's coming in. It's Warlock who got caught by the backline stun. So while Clockwork will fall, the rest of Team Secret are on their way. Bivol will go down, but the two TP's out. He learned for himself? No, he learned Naga. But oh, you said MP. Me. Rage, Live Stealer needs to get this off, but the silence is lasting so damn long, and he gets back behind the tower, has to Rage to actually help dispel, and Shadow Word on him. SK committed so heavily for that, but again, the Earthshake is coming up now. He's going to see Dendi. It's that Invis rune that sees all. Warlock or Dendi? Warlock has the Golem, so they start over on Dendi. Biver drops down the rock, should be able to hit four with the Fatal Bonds. Actually, only gets to level two. The Dragon Knight already down, the Golem to fall as well. Man, that thing does not last long. So Yabsaw, he hooks, hits Dendi. They need that jump to come nice and quick while the Creep Wave is still up, or maybe not. Dendi Dragon Form, he's losing his mana. General preps the Epicenter, in they come with the upheaval. It'll be difficult for Secret to walk away. At the same time, Pike had arrived, still with the end of that double damage rune to go to work. Snipes out Puppy, the Crystal Maiden. B1 with the creeps, man. Where would you be if you were a creep? Well, let me guess. I spawn at the, at the one minute mark and I move forward. <laughs> they have varying move speeds, though, Toby. Dragon Tail stun. Brilsa back, connected to the creeps around him, which are now all gone. 17 one charges available for Keizu. So he can tank through this for a while. General, gonna try and help out. The epicenter, they're really just lacquering it on, but still they don't have the kill. The rock will fall. A little bit of space being created, but Dendi can't escape. Puppy lets the Crystal Nova go down. General, all the help he tried to commit, achieves little to nothing. The only thing Navi get on the map is the kill with Pike and Snake are teaming up to find the clockwork. Well, if uh, Navi are the initiators, then yeah, you have to think about your counter initiation. But when the smoke breaks, they understand the Biver is right next to the Ancients. He'll fatal bond up to the Ancients, so they won't be farming those anytime soon. But a kill is a kill. Dendi, little of trouble for him, hiding under the cover of the Shadow Amulet. They know exactly where he is. The question is, who has detection? Oh, okay, just hook shot in and drop three Sentry Wards to kill off Dendi. He's trying to armor toggle his way through, but it ain't gonna happen. He's a slug pounce away. Navi are a full team here. So a team secret. 
He can wrap around the back though. I think with BKB there's very little risk that he dies. Potentially. In the fight. That observe what they planted down before is going to give them really good vision for this fight, except Yapsaw initiates in, isolating Dendi on the back lines. The rock will fall. It only actually catches the Earthshaker defensively. Yours up while MP pops out of his chest, just like Alien. A good vision, stopping Warlock. No upheaval control anymore. And Puppy from the low ground, just letting the freezing field go. It's not really doing enough. It slows down the rock, but it's Pykehead on the run. Shadow Dance has been committed. He has no man to speak of. Dendi will successfully. TP out, but the big man Pi Cat will fall. And with no buyback for 50 seconds. I don't know exactly the best way to describe that. Hook shot up, and Warlock trapped out this fight. The perfect initiation in as well from the Earthshaker. So on two different fronts, Team Secret will fight this, and maybe that was two fronts too many. Pycat able to get inside the Shadow Dance. They bring down the Earthshaker, but now Dendi trapped outside the base. 15 one shot. The General's going to bring in the Epicenter. Needs good damage. It's a nice forest strike in the back lines, catching the Crystal Maiden. One charge will give them the life to fight this, but again, they broke the Bristol Bank. He has to be freed. The Lotus Orb trying to protect him for the moment, while Puppy, he'll create a perimeter of his own. A quick blink up, General, not taking damage from the bristles, so he's able to use that blink dagger, but in they come again. Everyone from Team Secret, they fatally bonded together, but they will work as a team to bring down Pycat. The top lane was already pressured as well, but uh, Chaotic Offering just comes off cooldown. He's already used Fatal Bonds, General. That's a long way in. That's one way to get the Life Stealer in closer. Late Lotus all pushing him under the tier 4 towers. Maybe not exactly what you want to do. General is down. Here comes your hookshot. It's creating space for MP, but the rock will fall down as well. There's no Fatal Bonds. It was on corner for 5 seconds time, but you did get the stun in, which brought down Life Stealer. The tier 3 tower takes its turn. <laughs> Mid one, he found the target. Sentry's down, a quick little pop up. Uh, mid one, the Fissure, it connects, so does the hook shot, and they trap mid another Sentry Ward. Pycat will trigger the BKB. He doesn't really want to keep hitting Yabsor, he wants to try and get out of these bloody cogs. And here comes mid one. TP support is on the way. He's hiding inside the uh, the Silver Red, uh, the Shadow Blade for the moment. With the gem, there's nowhere Pycat can hide. So they stomp him down, punch him up. But the Burrow Strike from General, space is being created. Biffa, still no ultimate. He can at least connect them with Fatal Bomb. But it won't matter if Pycat's not there to do any kind of damage. And Poppy, like a real Crystal Maiden, lets the entire thing go. Yeah, Happy so center. They're going in. That is a gem. They got the gem stolen. It's in the hands of Seneco now. Like, he doesn't have a four stab. He doesn't have a blink. He chased down this super mobile slark. Oh, they got the aid of his team. The puppy, move to the side. Move to the side. He's waiting. Frostbite. Yapsaw has the hook shot available. And here he goes. Puppy moves up. The cogs trap Seneco in. And you're locked in here with Yapsor. Play the back line. Let MP and Kezu do the front line work. The melee rise will be brought down by the Life Stealer. And here's your hook shot. They actually isolated the, the rock. Or will they? No, it comes down in time. Viva, four start back out. Pycat locked inside with Yapsaw. But again, Pycat, he's done so much damage to himself in this early stage. They need more. Mid one, the Echo Slam. Minimal effectiveness. He needs to get the, the, the Fissure off as well. Get some extra suns. Get some extra control time. They don't really have it from just that Fissure. But the damage output from just the two frontliners, MP and Kezu, have done so much work. General has the Aghanim Scepter, he wants the perfect line stun, MP's gonna come in. Dude, these Halberds are obnoxious. <laughs> BKB on DK was used right after the Halberd, and he was useless. Oh, the bar Strike is nice on the Life Stealer as well as Crystal Maiden, but doesn't even matter. Mid one's controlling General outside the base. Maybe if they can kill off Keizu, but he has cheese. He's just able to pop back get all of his life back again. So while General's playing around with one, it's Seeker who are playing around with the slipperiest little fish of all. Pycat runs past the edges, even aggroes them, and Team Secret know they want to win this game, they just go down through mid. Pycat is not close enough just yet. I just don't think he's going to be able to get that Oh, we just started farming in front of Yapsaw. Yapsaw actually shivers and goes towards the top lane. No TP down, not for Seneco. So you can say goodbye to the Night Stalker, also dead with no buyback available. Ikezu's blocking his line towards Biver. Dendi trying to initiate down towards MP, but 
Oh, they're just waiting and trying to man mode it. The Abyssal Blade used over on the Slice. They've almost got him down with a Frostbite. They actually had enough control to kill him. And Puppy let it go on top of Dandy, his former teammate. Maybe with a bar strike and epicenter from General. No, Puppy under the protection of his own PKB just kills him off. And that is the game, at least game one. But it ain't over yet for Na'Vi. It might actually be over as far as the series, as far as the tournament goes. But Team Secret have one more game to try and take off in this best of three. Na'Vi can still win out in the series. It's not impossible. It's not impossible, but it's a very rough road. Because if they lose this, they go 0-3, which would require them, like, would require OG to lose all their remaining games and Liquid to potentially lose all their remaining games as well, I believe. Yeah. OG and Liquid actually have to lose all their remaining games, and Na'Vi would have to win their last one. Na'Vi could go 2-2. Two two. Na'Vi are actually playing up against Liquid, so they may actually force that situation themselves, or have it in their but hands But they have to win this so. series, I think. Uh, if they win this series, and then they win against Team Liquid, yeah. yes, they are in the top. So they there's still a chance. Potentially. Actually, technically, then they would draw for OG if OG won their series.